Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Robert Dan. And today, I figured to review another martial arts film, and it's the one titled The Way of the Dragon. So yeah, it seems kind of weird because you think I would have eventually got to this it's a lot sooner, but I didn't since, it took, since I'm always talking about Kung Fu movies. But yeah. I actually do own uh, a version where the actors and actresses would speak in their native tongue, but I'm not quite sure if this would play on my machine. But it does serve like a cool little novelty, I guess you would say. Regardless, I guess I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep it anyway. So yeah, I'll be reviewing the dubbed English dubbed version. A lot of people are familiar with, so I just thought I'd let, I'd let you know. So, yeah, I guess that's a cool, cool little thing there. Anyway, whatever, I guess, I, either way, I still have to talk about the plot. So, let's just dive right into it, I guess you would say. So, yeah, of course, you can see that Bruce Lee's character and does arrive in Rome as a way to help his cousin in this restaurant business so yeah okay they need some some extra assistance of course but the thing is that they are being pressured to sell the property to, to us uh the syndicate to them well as it seems to stop at absolutely nothing to get what they want so when our main character arrives he poses like an evil threat towards this syndicate, and they will be, um, they will want to find a way to defeat him somehow. But of course, our main character proves to be really tough with his martial arts character, of course. He's really strong, he's really fast, he knows what he's doing, and yeah, so of course, he does do his thing. The syndicate boss, however. Does hire um, some Japanese and European martial artists as an attempt to counter our main character because, like I was saying, he's really tough, he's really strong. So, which of course frustrates the bad guy, the main villain, I guess you would say, and whatnot. Well, like I already said, with that, you gotta have a conflict because there's no conflict when there's no drama. And there's no drama, and then there's no reason for, I mean, there's no story, I guess, and there's no story, and there's no reason for me to care. And yeah, there's the whole thing with Chuck Norris, of course, uh, who's supposed to be this American martial artist, of course. But yeah, you could see the famous showdown at the end of the movie, of course. But, um, but yeah, there's, um, this is definitely a film I would say that it's, it's definitely worth a watch. It's a really good movie, I should, I should say. I did like what the were doing with this, of course. It's definitely a classic. It's so really folk. It's a really well made film as a whole. And if you have not seen this film for whatever reason, then definitely check this film out. It's definitely one of the best kung fu films out there. It really defined the genre. So, there you go. I mean, okay, sure, you may not have the biggest budget in the world, sure. And it may seem cheaply made compared to a lot of the Hollywood films at the time, and even nowadays, sure. And, but yeah, it's worth checking out anyway. It's really well choreographed, it's well written. I did like what they were trying to do for the characters fight sequences, and overall plot. The outfit of the cool. You get to see the, the amount of effort of what they were trying to do. So yeah, this definitely gets a higher recommendation from me, folks. I really like this one. It's definitely a really good film as a whole. And yeah, the fight scenes are crazy, and regardless, that's one of the best, of course. Again, especially the final fight sequence between, you know, Bruce Lee's character and Chuck Norris' character, 
And yeah, it looks differently, really, really well, well made. So, yeah. If only you can see the original version, it's no fault, like I said before, but I don't think I can cook play any on any machine machine. But anyway, this one's definitely um, a really well made film. I mean, yeah, it's okay, it's pretty violent, for sure. But yeah, I did like what they were trying to do with the story and whatnot. I like the setting, that's definitely sure. I like the setting, what they were trying to do as a whole. But yeah, all these characters are cool. I like the war. I like the writing. I like even the, I like the dubbing in this one was I like the half pretty decent. I like the, like the dubbing wasn't too bad, of course. And yes, yeah, so of course, the kung fu is primarily used as self defense kind of a thing, of course. And uh, but yeah, uh, the film goes into the whole idea where the concept of protecting the the oppressed. People throughout the entire movie, of course, which does seem pretty cool in a lot of ways, obviously. And, um, but yeah. And we get to see that Chuck Norris' character has pretty much portrayed Kung Fu in that sense by siding with the Impressor, of course. So, yeah. Uh, she gets pretty crazy. You, you can tell, obviously, tell the fighting styles are pretty crazy. And not just that, there's different little kung fu styles between everybody seems to be, you know, uh, different, which is fine, of course. I do like what they were trying to do overall, make it fast paced and whatnot. I'm not once I ever got bored. It's actually pretty entertaining for the entire thing. But yeah, good story, good characters, exciting fight scenes. What more could you want? So yeah. They like what was done as a whole. So again, like I said, it's definitely worth it. A check out. So I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. It's a 7.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.